Welcome to Mishpachas, take two, with the names and faces familiar to you from the magazine. Get a closer glimpse, come a little bit to life. Today's guest is not a conventional celebrity. Traditionally on the show, we've sat with so many great uh, authors and singers and big askanim. My friend Shlaimi Steinmetz is a regular guy. He's what you call in the world a pashatid, but very much not a pashatid. Shlaimi Steinmetz, along with so many other families, were felt it very personally. The tragedy last year in Miran of Lagbayimur had hit very close to home for him. And he lost his son, Davi, Yisachadev Barash Baram Shlaima. And from that day, people, I think, understood and looked at Shlaimi as an ambassador of what it really means to be a Yid, how a Yid reacts, how a Yid speaks, how a Yid um, uses a Torah like that to create something new. It's a very big schus for me, a big pleasure, and uh, a big opportunity. Welcome, Shlomo Shlomo. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Slap you into the studio. We live next door to each other to, to bring you down here. But your, your story is a very compelling story. I don't know if you even know the effects of what you've been doing over the last 11 months on the world because you're so focused on what you're doing. But I would love to talk to you a little bit about that. Again, you were not a machanach before. You weren't that big veer whose name was in every building. A good yid, a good father, a good husband, a good guy. A regular guy that people aspire to be like. And all of a sudden you're in the headlines. From one second to the next, not something you ever asked for, not something you ever hoped to be. And, and you've used that to be mechazik a lot of people. Tell us a little bit about, uh, you, know, you haven't really stopped to think about how you got here. I understand it's been 11 months, probably a very little sleep, uh, a lot of emotion. How did I get here? I'm following the Eibishter. I'm doing, doing, let me say in Yiddish, Laftin and Eibeshet Ofstin. Again, when this happened from, from the first second, like, I mean, it's unreal. I, can't, I still can't wrap my head around it. I'm not trying to understand. But I wish to feed the Welt and try to be Mechazik from, from day one and, and I'm trying to reinforce and reinforce that this, that, I mean, this is what I wish to wanted and let's do the best right, of whatever of- we can. I think everybody believes that the Ebesh the Fiat Welt. But there's a lot of people who say the Ebesh the Fiat Welt, he, he did this and I accept it. But that doesn't mean that I have to go and talk about a moon a whole day. That's in a whole other level. To respond that way with that kind of strength and that kind of courage is very unusual. You, you, you must be coming from somewhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming. I had two very good of Zaydas, Rebitzer Gisur Steinmetz. Ulf Shum, this is my father's father. You grew up in Antwerp. Which I grew up in Antwerp. And he lived there as well? And he lived there as well. And also my uh, mother's grandfather, which was actually just nifted three hours ago, on the, while I came down on my plane. It would be also wow. Steinhardt. Wow. So this just well, happened now. Wow. But they are, again, you ask me where it's coming from. This is, this is the koiches that the Zaydas put into my parents. And then, uh, you know, it trickles down to, to us as kids. So you grew up absorbing this. I, again, my, I remember my, if I remember a word, my, my baby sister, again, she's close to 40, my baby sister, but she's my youngest sister. She, when she grew up, she knew my grandfather was that uh, Reb Meir, Reb Meir. She thought he has his best friend, Reb Meir. Every time he needs something, Reb Meir, Reb Meir. That was the thing, Reb Meir Balanes. She never hopped until she was like Bas Mitzvah. Reb Meir is not his friend, it's Reb Meir Balanes. But that's how he lived. But again, they started after the war. Mamish mit Gunisht. You know, they, they, they got married in 1946 in the DP camp. My father was born in 1948. You know, so it's like the, every single simcha. I mean, I'm growing up in Antwerp. My grandfather said, the Zelbe Dusha, Chdan Kasemir's Buch, Ketoshtel Ayidish Dor, Kezenachas and the Kinder, Einiklach, Shemit Mitzus, and my Baba Dushu is to stand next to Umain. That was the same Dusha. I mean, for years. I'm his oldest Einikl, so I saw it coming. You know, my grandfather in London, it was asking, he retired at 65 because he's in England and he was, you know, uh, we retired 65. He had an ice cream factory called Snowcrest. People uh, have heard of it probably. Anyway, what did he do? He said he's going to build a new mikveh in London. He was building a, that's his, his, he went, uh, they needed a new, uh, new shoe mikveh. He was all the years, my grandmother was uh, also was just nifted a few months ago. She was in charge of the, they lived in an area called Hendon, and she was the mikveh lady over there. And he was always busy with the maintenance and the whole thing. So he understood because they were doing, uh, they were doing these things for, for I don't know how many years. I mean, since I was born, I remember so there was a second right. phone line. There was no cell phones in those days. The mikveh line was in my grandmother's house. That's what they got. Then, 
Actually, it reminded me now, September 11th, I was, uh, I went to Antwerp for a, my sister made a Pidna Ben, uh, one of my nephews, and Dovi came with, he was a year old. My grandfather was busy building the mikveh then. This is in Golders Green. This is the biggest mikveh. This was like, I don't know, four or five million dollar pro uh, pounds project. And he came to give us a tour. And we had Davi with, and, uh, and, he gave, and he gave us a tour, the whole mikveh. And he's busy explaining the, 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 the technologies, everything, the mikveh, the, the, all the... He was so proud of, you know, not the, the boyers. The boyers, my guy, down under the bar. What's behind the walls? All those things, and he went, he said he went to South Africa, he saw that, he went to the Muncie Mikvah, he saw this, he traveled the whole world to see where, how he's going to build the best Mikvah for Golders Green. So you grew up, and then you married into a home, obviously. Where, and then, you know, you again, this is, uh, this so is coming from my side, you asked me. My wife is, can I know her? All the way back to Karistia. Uh, Karistia Einikel. My, my wife's grandfather was actually, great-grandfather, was the Ruven Keresti after sure, the war. Sure. So she grew up, oh, I mean, the world heard of Keresti today, but uh, she grew up here in Keresti since she's a baby. Yeah, I sure, mean, her sure. grandmother went to Keresti in, in the 60s or 70s. Sure. She, she, sure. she was, I mean, she birthed it. Oh, my, my so it came, uh, you know, you spoke by the Goethe Convention this year, a very famous Russia. so you said that you have to have a Muna. Arangabakan in the Bayna, I think. Arangabakan in the Bayna. Some people made jokes, I haven't heard such words in an American uh, convention. But that's what you're talking about, to be able to, you grew up, it was baked into it you. It was baked into you. By the way, that wow. wasn't part of the speech, it just it came naturally. It came out. You do that very well. <laughs> I think that the reason you're sitting here today and the reason people connect to you is because you don't do prepared speeches and you're just a guy who's speaking his heart. It's a very Yiddish heart. And people, it resonates because everybody has challenges. David shows all up eaten from big ones. But everybody's dealing with their things, and they hear you speak, and they say, okay, David is good, and he knows what he's doing, and everybody needs to hear that. Yeah. So that's what you're talking about. And, and I have to say, um, you know, people go through things in life. <coughs> kind of fun, and people say, oh, is it sad? They're cool. I don't think anything changed. I think that your family was always brought from a very Yiddish family. You're a very, very special home always. Like, like my wife used to say, I mean, can I know her, Baruch Hashem? We, you know, we, we, we have a house full of boys. Can I know her, five boys, one daughter. I tell everybody when I introduce them, she's my best daughter. She came after four boys. But Yudi Tzvi and Davi, to give you an idea, these are my oldest kids. Davi's bris was before my Yudi's option. So we had three under the age of three. My wife was davening that uh, by when Yudi Zupshen, he should at least he shouldn't have three kids in Pampas. He should be out of diaper. You know, that, that was like a and uh, no, but Baruch Hashem, they, so they, they, we, if, you know, we, we, we forget those days. You know, it was. I've said this problem. That, why should I tell to you? Somebody called me information about Tzvi, about your son. I said, I feel like the Steinmetz boys wake up in the morning and they say, thank you, Hashem, for making me a Steinmetz. You always had a very, very special one. Baruch Hashem, it's still, Baruch still Hashem, like Baruch that. Hashem. Listen, it's, it's, it has to be balanced, you know, because um, I have to give full credit to my wife because sometimes me, I get carried away and my wife has to remind me that you, you're the father. You're not one of the, you know, you're, you're not a friend. But Baruch Hashem, together, was able to be able to build a beautiful, beautiful home. And again, it's not that I'm... I, I, I always like to give my kids a big enough playground to, to you know, room to maneuver. But I mean, during Corona, it wasn't easy for anybody. Let's, let's face it. I mean, especially, I'm talking about the first two months. Afterwards, once, uh, you know, we, we knew that nobody knows what's going on. Uh, I was to feed, but we had to follow uh, right. a little bit uh, the, the rules too. So I had, my house was actually the only place that we had minion from day one. How do we do that? I had my boys. So I had right away, I had uh, half the mini was uh, me and my boys. So it was my back porch. My neighbor had uh, two boys and uh, my back neighbor. So we had mini right away. And I told the kids, okay, you don't want to get up at 7 o'clock. And I used to, I get up every day at 5, 5.30. So I said, okay, we're going to make shachas at 8 o'clock to be a happy medium. You know, we had Zoom, Dafi before. Anyway, so 8 o'clock. And, uh, you know, the, the kids got used to it. My Davi, he wasn't too happy, but you know what? And they said, Tati, let me have my coffee. I'll be there at 8 o'clock. Don't bother me. Just let me, as let's long as I have my coffee uh, before shachas, I'm good about, to go. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Davi. He was, he was very special. All your boys are special. <laughs> Look at the good boy. Listen, I, I said, the Ibish should put us in a sandwich we're talking about Davi. You know, this is what it, Mokshem, I hold from all my boys. They, they, everybody is special. But now, the Ibish should put this matzah, so we're here to talk about Davi and, 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 and to, bring, to bring out his, 
again, can I bring everything out and see, you know, try to bring out at least, uh, he, was, he was a boy that was full of life. A vamkeit, a heimishkeit. He was proud of what he was. He grew up, again, we, we, my kids, we all went to Masifta. We done Chatsuyu Shavuot. So do I. That's how we grew up. I'm clean shaven because my father's clean shaven, my grandfather's clean shaven. So are my kids. But we done Chatsuyu Shavuot because it was all got to My kids go to literary yeshivas, but they still done Chatsuyu Shavuot. When it comes to Rebbe's, they go to Rebbe's. They have a new, to, 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 you know, it's not that... They, David they, had a tremendous pull to Kedusha. To da, David, he made butters. He used to say, Tati, I want a sponsor. We have to make a, you know, there's a, oh, it's a, if it's a Yudzad or if it's a Shabbos, you know, a special Shabbos or something. Shabbos Nachmi, ich will na Moisev sein, of us from Nusen, Shlita, gesagt, of Katzke Rebbe's Wart, as we like to set off in hearts and then it will fall in. Chadish Eirem sagt, was Shatz sagt, alle wo weichu. He sagt, like us off in hearts and say, that it... Dark brand in the ganze hearts. It's just gonna burn through and then it's got around falling in the hearts. It's got zana shafa from the havas is room from the dvaikas and Hashem. Getting Shabbos nach me, the Shabbos of Menachem Zan Yedaina. The other Rebbe's have been saying this is the greatest Shabbos for the ganze Yud, while they Shabbos the Ibish is Menachem and the Zok Sadu. Sadu a hope. There is some hope. And you know what? His literal Shosh Shivas appreciate us. I mean, he was very close to his Shosh Shiva, Psim Nachem Feigenbaum. He was his right hand man. Again, he was, there was no, they weren't, it wasn't, it's not an easy yeshiva. I think he finished say that every night, at, I think 11.30 or midnight. He Dafka didn't want them to have, it was a very late night seder, because he didn't want them to, uh, he, he, he didn't want them to be busy with, uh, with other things. <laughs> with other things. With the Gemara. And, and then this Misa happened, and all of a sudden you became an ambassador overnight, without even realizing it, for a certain message. From, from the, really the Hespit, although, if you don't mind, Tell us a little bit about that Shabbos, what that Shabbos of Aguayim was like. The you, Shabbos? You, you, know, you got out of Montreal Friday already. We got it, yeah. So basically we only found out at about 9.30 local time, which was around, I think it was 4.30 uh, Israeli time. My son Tzvi was uh, in Etzisol and you know, they wanted to have next of kin. But Hashem Daibsa gave me enough cycle to last second. I asked my cousin, one of the rabbis, to go and... And whatever they should be there, his, his last, Tzvi's last vision of Davi. I mean, they were there together in the room. As Davi standing on top, thumbs up. He was everything's okay. So you know, he was with a smile, and I and I wanted it to to stay that way. So and it was Eir Shabbos, and I remember hearing the news. Obviously, I don't even know if shock is the right word. I don't. I, don't, I, I can't. Can't really explain the the emotion, but I I kept on chasing. I remember telling it to my wife and my kids. I mean, it's obviously it's beyond comprehension. I wish to feed the world. I wish to feed the world. I just kept on chasing. I wish to feed the world. And and okay. And then I went into a very technical mode. I said, okay, we have to get in order to get to. So we have to leave from New York. So we have to get to New York, and we're gonna start. We're gonna pack up, and we're gonna we're gonna make a flight to New York. So we made it to Muncie for for Shabbos. My, my oldest son, Yuri, lives in Muncie, so with that. And I said, Namasa, ha, you know, it's going to be a very hard Shabbos. I mean, we, we, we just got hit with the biggest trauma of our life. And for all of us, again, as parents, it's, it's hard. As siblings, it's hard. And Gans Klali so was in shock. I mean, even before I heard of what happened, I went to Damin Khamav. I remember going out and I heard something happened in Iran. People got killed, parents, you know, we didn't know at that point. My stomach was in a knot. I had no clue, because at that point, I got two voice notes telling me that, yeah, Davi's okay, we saw him, he's accounted for. Even my, 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 my son Yudi, he said, oh, Baruch Hashem, Davi's alive. He, 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 we, didn't, like, we didn't even have a chashad. He made it as a joke. At that point, it was like, we know how serious, how severe the, the situation was, you know? So... Anyway, going back to Shabbos, I said, we have to try, you know, I know I Shabbos. I come saying, I know I was Shabbos. Anyway, so I was like I said, Erev Shabbos was a very technical mode. We did. We, we said we're getting to, to New York. My kids came. My, my Akiva was in Yeshiva there. He, you know, so he joined. We were all together for Shabbos. So we went to Davon uh, Friday night. Well, Shabbos and Davon in And I'm, I mean, I'm beyond to I mean, I was just like, I'm trying to, 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 to be strong, just. I'm trying to be strong for, for the situation. At the end of the day, I have a uh, I have a wife, I have kids, and, and uh, 
you know, it's a, it's, it's a challenge beyond uh, we could ever imagine. Anyway, so then I'm like, with Avni Mincha, and I tell him, I've finished the Mincha before Kabul Shabbos by Alani, I tell, I tell Yuri, you know what, I say I want to have Kabul Shabbos. I don't know why, I'm still acting like a drunken cop, you know, and I've been putting a lot of drugs lately. So he tells the, the Gabba that um, my father wants to have a Kabul Shabbos. So he looks, okay, what's the goal? Doesn't have them. Anyway, so after the, as I'm about to dump, the, the roof said, who's down the Kabul Shabbos? And he says, oh, so he wasn't sure, is that Oinan, if she make a yummy? And he says, oh, but the Gabba Geschick, okay, let's go. Anyway, so I, I, I dump Kabul Shabbos and I was thinking to myself, I mean, I was dump Kabul Shabbos, to me, the Moshlein. I had to be. So from that uh, moment already, you already understood. I, I felt you were reaching in and pulling a kaiches. I don't know. I said, "Listen, I said, I'm just going to sit there. I'm not going to. I'm going to. Uh, how am I going to be mechazik myself? I mean, I'm, I'm sitting there Shabbos. I say, no, no mechdavanan. I mean, it wasn't a big so million that Friday night. I don't know how many people were davening there, but it wasn't in a mass of But I'm telling, I was davening with that. I had to just let it out. I almost broke down a couple of times, and then I said, if I'm going to break down, the ganze besmedrush got wine and the bagun shov I want a daven to be mechazik. Uh, if I don't get the chizik, what's the point in the whole daven? And uh, anyway, again, I said, one step at a time. One step at a time. We had, you know, we came home, we made the Shabbos see that we're sitting all together, and we're talking, you know, all... <laughs> we're reminiscing. It's, uh, even my sister-in-law's birthday was... She, she just got a package in the mail. Now we send them a birthday, a birthday present. It, came, it arrived at the air show, you know, like... Such a, such a good guy. Again, we have, we have a certain sense of humor in the Steinmetz family, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, sometimes... It looks like it works for you, it, it, uh, we're, we're trying, you know, sometimes it... Uh, <laughs> so you, Master Shabbos, you go. So you gave a hesped for the ages. One second. Mount Shabbos, we left, uh, we went to JFK, we left for months and we had the flight. On the way to the airport, my wife gets a call from Mrs. Gestetna. Just, you know, she knows she's friendly with her in Montreal. And it gives a kid she lost her son, Shragi, who lives in Muncie. It was Machazik. Right then, she turned, my wife turns around and calls Mrs. Cohn. She doesn't even know, I mean, our kids were friends. Yossi was in the Machnifta together with Davi. And she calls Mrs. Korn. And I, I, I'm so, I was so, I, I won't say impressed. I mean, my wife impressed me on. We're married a long time. So she's not looking to impress. We, we, we're not looking to impress each other anymore. We, you know, which, but it was, for her to have the koi also to do that, to go call, I mean, this is the hardest time of our life. We're going to Etisul. When I need the Shemama, I need the Shemama. I mean, when the Yidnam of Gestalt Zeig Nochem Machumer, these hard, hard times, I mean, th th this, is, this is times like this, which you see, the Eibish like the Han, the Yiddish of Amma. Again, I need Koyach, I need, I, I said, the, you know, I said, Nachamul, I'm going to Rebbe Zosh Hashivas, and who knows, I said, the Buchas I'm asking now, the Eibish like him, Koyach, Koyach, and Nachamul Koyach. So, Metro Met Koyach, Kemen Oftin, and again, I'm doing it. I want to do everything in Davi's schism. I think Davi needs a schism, but people tell me Davi should not have schism. But this is it for Klali, so so people are doing. But it's already. Uh, it's not. Uh, by the end of Shiva, you already had this thing. You know the, the what you were going to do with Ani and tell like you you came out the, the website anybody can go animamen.net, and they see and I, I think I understand it's only going to lead to more things, more initiatives of Mitzvah Shem. You're just getting started. Shem, this mean, is just the beginning. The, the way it started wasn't my idea. I'm not taking credit for it. This is Aruf's idea, Rabbi Yaakov Eli And again, we got up from Shiva Erev Shabbos, and he speaks every Erev Shabbos, every Shabbos, sorry, before Misa for five minutes. He says, "What can we do to to?" And I mean, the whole the whole Bismethus was the club. The whole world was the club. What can? But here it hit home. I mean. This is a kid that grew up in the shul. His bris was there. His upshem was there. His his his, his, his chimish seed was there. His graduation was bar mitzvah was there. Everything. I mean, my kids are part of the shul. My like, <laughs> they're my. I mean, my my shver's father. We had four, uh, five. How many generations? My shver. I lost track. My head's not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I know? How? So we had, we were the only, we were the first one to have my, my elder side, my Shver's father was, my Yudi was the first Iraenical, because nobody had, this was a new thing. Uh, so suddenly all my grandfather's friends, my wife's grandfather, 
they have a little mascot going on over here. They never had this before. And then Kanai Nochai and unfortunately, the Elter are not there anymore. But they grew up, they, they were part of the Sifta. They, 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 they were grew up and the school was there, the Besmedosh was there. Your wife said that, Zadi Kornfeld. Yeah. So in the morning, how much he didn't give Tikkun after Davin, there's some Danishes, whatever. So he was in charge of things. So they were cut in half. Old I machine, and you didn't get a whole day. Your kids would come in, he gave them a whole. It was a special time, it's privilege. He was, he was the sheriff. Yeah, yeah. He was in charge. So they were privileged citizens, for sure. Yeah, okay. so the roof gets up. So the roof gets up, and, and he says, what can we do? What's given episteme for, for, you know, obviously something small. So he said, he printed out these animamim cards. It takes 90 seconds. Everybody said, it happens in Davi. And he gave it out to the shul. From the sons of Ruf, I think he said that. The sons of Ruf said to say Ali could, could change it. Yeah, and the Ruf, the sons of, sure. uh, of royalty. Right. Anyway, so that's, he gave out the cards, and that was it. Matzah Shabbos, Chapa Jok. The boy from Shikhtaran. I said, let me see if I can get to 1,000 people on the first Shabbos, on the, by, the, by the first Sunday, because this is Matzah Shabbos, and let me hit 10,000 by next Sunday. And after that, we'll see what Ibish to shake. I can't, uh, I said, what do my shtadlis again? When, uh, I figured every person that's saying Animam is another schis. It's another schis for Davi. Anyway, I started calling all my friends and cousins and any connections that I had, and my kids helped me in that, and I started sending a WhatsApp. And then, you know, again, I was never into WhatsApps and things. I mean, you know, I had it, but I wasn't into the whole status and this and that. And, you know, people told me today's age, you gotta, if you want to get, get the word out, you have to, this. So then we did a, first I was just sending text and text, and then they said, no, make a little clip. And we sent a, you know, 30 second clip and, and it went around and the master, we, we hit like 10,000 people in the first week. And it's like, wow. So, so I started printing the cards. So I ordered first, I ordered like a 3,000 or 5,000 or 10,000. And people are asking for more. And we're getting schools on board and Moisters and, and, and different con- uh, cities. And we went, I mean, it's, nowadays I'm printing them 30,000 at a time. In uh, Kaidish or in English? So we, 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 now we're doing a, we had a few in English, but it was mainly in Lushan Kodesh, because we had a little bit of English. Now we actually, we, have, we printed in Yiddish also. We printed also in, in Russian. We had a campaign going now in Ukraine not long ago, before this whole sure. uh, this, the, the war broke out. How did that happen? How do you think it got to Ukraine? I, I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not Ukrainian. I mean, uh, <laughs> again, Madame Fadid, if you're Ukrainian, Yiddish, Zazan, Gesint. I had uh, one of my gaboom, my uh, gaboom. People, again, the people who are helping in, in this is just people who are inspired, they want to give chizik. They're getting chizik, they want to give chizik. That's, 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 that's what it was all about. So they wanted to, the, the, the guy I hired to do the shloishim, I, 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 again, going back, I want, why did I do the shloishim? I mean, I had to do the shloishim over there, my, my son was and I felt bad for all Davi's friends. Davi was so, for everything for his friends. He still see Shabbos, even Meron. They didn't just go to Meron and, 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 and you know, he went, they, they rented a, an apartment, a villa. They went with 20 Bochum, they made the Chai Rotl. He was going to Erev Shabbos, he went, he, he, was, he was going in all in. He went to see, he went, they, they got their Wednesday afternoon or, or the night before, already after, they went after Seder, they told him they were after Seder. They, they set up the house, they're going to have to stand uh, Thursday by day. He, whenever Rabunim were there, he was able to go. He was, he was... Was, and again, it wasn't just for him. He showed me pictures. Started, Look, I, 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 got, I got hundreds and hundreds of bars. We're going to give out to him. You know? So that, that was who Davi was. So we're doing this in Davi's chiz because Davi so was that type of boy. He wanted it to be Davi's So style. by the shloishim, all the boys were so nebuch to, 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 and saknacht. And they needed the chizik. So I said, I want all his, you know, and we made a, for, for this close friends, probably must have been about 150 boys there. And it was a very, very... It gave him a lot of chizik. It gave chizik for, uh, you know, the, the Abunim spoke, his Rebbe Aim spoke, the friend, whatever it was. It was, it was a mama shamatzo. So the cater, which I don't know, but I had to hire somebody. He was so, he said, I want to help you. Whatever I can. So I said, okay, we'll see. So we'll start printing. Yeah, you'll send me, we'll send to this seminary, that shul, this shul, whatever. You know, we're, we're trying to spread it out. So we printed about, in February, whenever it was, the, two months ago, uh, end of January, we printed 10,000 uh, in Etisul. Again, he goes to the print, takes care of it. I just give my credit card. But, you know, Baruch Hashem, I mean, I have a course of tough for him. So he calls me up, he says, this guy, oh, he bumped a guy called Hillel Cohen, came to this sort of thing. I never heard of Hillel Cohen. 
I don't even know if you know Hillel Cohen, but he says, no, he goes to Ukraine and he does a lot of, with all the kids and this. So if he, in my mind, if he takes a few thousand cards, he's going out there anyway, he wants to make a whole uh, chizik and, and so sure, I guess I'm tired. This is the Shik, Shik Ukraine. Anyway, he went to Ukraine, made a whole Shabbos and Mezhbaz, and some of the kids, they, they, they made a whole uh, thing, and they, they memorized Animam. And these nine-year-old Ukrainian kids, the Balchivas, I don't know Animam by heart. They, you know, let, let me interrupt you a minute. If somebody wants to reach out to you directly and get the cards, or is there, go on the website, Animam.net? Well, the, the best thing is you go on the website, we do Animam.net. You, again, this is, this is being you, built. There's, there's also, we have chazdeidavi at gmail.com, okay. or on the, on the website there's a com- Chazde, C H A S D E I D O V I. D O V I at gmail.com if they want to reach out to you and get the card for their schools. Get the cards, anybody the wants, and we get. Uh, but you've been going. I, I want to say something here. I hope it comes out. I hope what I'm trying to say comes out. <coughs> you could say Animam and, and the whole world and, and, and talk about the ideology and the theology and the philosophy of Amuna. And then you could just give over Amuna with the way you're being without saying very, very much. I I I. I I go back in the Baina. I, I, I woke up Purim morning last week, early, you know, Vasikin. And my first thought was for you, what must Purim be like, you know, last year and to this year, last year coming off the heels of a Simcha. And I checked the status, like I do always. And the first thing you wrote was a Felech Lichtig in Purim with like a smiley face. That was your first thing on your status. I said to myself, what is it you get Kaiches to do that? That means not only, not only are we going, are we going, enjoy your Purim. It's Purim, be happy. That that's 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 very big. Where does that come from? How do you do that? I don't think too much. It's, not I, I, I it's living on Imam it, It's 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 communicating it without the words. Although I have to say, I didn't say Imam before this, to be honest with you. I should have wanted to whatever. It changes your day. Taka takes it doesn't take you said the forty seconds, it takes about oh, a minute. Oh, I said ninety and a half. seconds. Yeah, 90 it takes seconds. about a minute and a half, two minutes. But it changes the day. It, it frames the whole day, and once you remember that who's he's Aisha Vyasa the Chalamasim, everything's okay. So the, uh, this Dani Mami, I didn't make it up. This is it was always there. I've been saying it for many many years. I never told my kids to say it either. My kids say because they saw I said. It. it says it. I remember the day the day when we were still looking for Davi. At that point, I said he's going to be the most wanted person because every hospital we called, other palm of Davi Steinmetz, other palm of Like we, were, I had so many askunim looking for him all over. And now my goyish square for all askunim, we're not going to name them. But at the end of the day, this was Davi Steinmetz wanted. And Yudi sent me a picture. He went to the Rimnitzer then, and he went, and then he sent me a picture. I went to Dav Nochet, Animam in Shlai. This is before we even thing. We sang Animamim on the first day of Shiva. How did I start singing that? It wasn't a number with the campaign. We didn't even think of that campaign. I said, all, we had hundreds of boys in the, in the, you know, I mean, the house was full. We had thousands of people. Okay. I says, I thought to myself, I'm not going to stick around a drunken cup. I said, what is a song that Davi liked? One is Davi. And we start singing the Animam. <laughs> Kadashima's families, and every single one of them has a lot of parents who are broken, or children who are broken, or spouses who are broken, everybody with their own heartbreak. Rahman al Islam. Do you have any, any connection to them? Do you feel like, Davi, you're just a spokesman for all those families? Because you're probably, in a certain way, the most well known. In America, you, you talk a lot, and, and you're, you're out there. Good. Do you have a connection to them? I, I feel 
the way Dovi was, for, he was always there for everybody. I mean, so I'm, I, I want to try to take something, his, his strengths. He was, he was such a giving person. He was such a gitzkeit, mit a warmkeit, and things he would do that people knew, or people that didn't know. He would help, you know, he would, he would learn with Shvach Bochum, they didn't even know that they needed help. He could not know he had such a good head, a sharp cup. He was you not know, saying Yiddish to God a lot. Yes, he was good, he was learning at Tzigestelt, and he knew, he knew with the Shiva how to, you know, measure. But then again, he'll go, he'll go skiing also. He'll go have a hockey game. It's okay. We gave our kids enough leeway to... Again, in, I think in, that's why your message resonates with people, because they identify with you. You're just a guy from Shul, regular guy. Yeah. And, and, and look, look what a Yid is. Listen, again, I want to do this. For, 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 I'm, do you I'm have a, connections with other families? Are you involved with them in any we, way? I'm in, I'm in contact with some of the families, but I wanted to, again, I felt initially when we came in, we went to Etisul, we came for Levi, I was there for six hours. I was in and out. And I, and, I, and, I, and I felt like, again, we were all clapped. I mean, the pain that we're going through, or every single family is going through. It's, we can't measure it. Nobody should ever have to go through what, what, what we went through. And I spoke to my, my, my first cousin, he's my shlich, my shagesh, and shtaymetz. He said, you know what? Maybe we should go just, he should be my shlich and go be menachem of all the, all the families. Push to feel imi noich You know what? I went by, I, again, I, I, went, I came to me, I left, I'm back home. Boch Hashem. I have a house over my head, I'm not, I have food on the table. Some of these families, they can't manage, forget about the fact that they lost a loved one. They can't even function needing the regular daily things. And, and, and that really, I felt like, you know what, Davi always took care of it. Let's at least try and, we did a few things behind the scenes, we're trying to help whatever we can. Again, I wanna, I'm doing for Davi's chis, but I, I, we, we generally feel the, the it, it hurts everybody. And maybe by doing something for other people, it gives, it, 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 it's going to give chizik for everyone. I didn't choose this. This is, this is the You've made a lot of new friends in the last 11 months. You've got to meet different communities, different demographics. You've, and and you're, you're new at this, and you're already giving chizik to other people. Listen, the chizik, uh, I don't know. We tried that I bishav gim koyach, and we're trying to be mechazik daily. I mean, this is not this... Every day, you know, we, you think, and I can't wrap my head around what happened, but I try to be mechazik every single day. I'm very close to Rabbi Yorich Navozun Skvei Adar and Shlita, a tzaddik. And I know he came to me when, again, even before we said Shabbat, then we spoke. He was a chazer, an nachamul, an nachmadaf, an You have to repeat, you know, and, and again, I'm repeating. I lived it my whole life. The minna is part of you. You can't, it doesn't happen overnight. You talk after chazer, you have to, and especially when you get hit with such, with such a thing, it's just... You're getting koichas, you tell me I have koichas, I don't know what koichas, I don't know where I'm getting from. I said, I'm just going to get I'm just going, I'm going and we'll see what the Ibishter says me. I didn't know I'm going to get to thousands and thousands of people. Again, I didn't know, it's, it, again, it's, <laughs> it's, it's hard to express where I'm going to, you know, you're asking me where the people I'm getting to, the, I'm meeting new people You're just every going day. by day and you're just sharing what's inside of you. I've been traveling a lot on business over the past few weeks, different communities, I mean, I, I, you have from Hasidish to Madan to American to Litvish to, to, to every, I, I'm getting dozens of messages every week. People are coming over to me. People are telling me the chizik it's giving. I'm very happy to hear it. It's giving me chizik too. But I'm happy. People shouldn't do it. Again, I want to do it for Davi's chiz. That's how I started. I said, Davi needs chizim. But it's giving the, the, per, the people are getting the chizik they need it for themselves also. Again, this is not me. We're doing this with the Eibshter. We want... We want to do a Kiddush Hashem in Davi's Chiz. Davi should be the vehicle to, to, to you know, as a Zandim Shliach. If this is what Davi should wanted, you know. So you're going to keep going. Tell Mashiach. The good news is that Mashiach is coming. You, you look around in the world. It's, we've never seen anything like this. That it, 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 it has to be. It has to be. And, and maybe this is what Davi should wanted in order to, to... A little more, Muna. A little more. Again, uh, and just in closing, what... what what blows me away, and I think the people who know you are amazed, not by the Muna. I think you didn't have a Muna. It's not a secret. It's your ability to, to make it into, into reality, to walk around and give off that vibe of the Ebesha is good and the Ebesha knows what he's doing. I see you every day. And that's the vibe you give off. That's an incredible thing. It's, uh, it's Listen, even da Davi, what he used to, I, used to tell, I used to be upset the way he said, Hashem Nus, Hashem Nukach. That's how he used to talk every second day. We said, Tati, it's okay, let's go. With the Ebesha game, that's Kemach Zazan. So that, you know, he was, that's the type of boy he was. He was a, 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 a bright and a shomer, a gitzkite. He would always, I got his last credit card bill. Boch Hashem, I help my kids whatever they need, you know. 
what, what was on that bill, the, the, that, those kind of bills I didn't pay. And his friends told me that every month he always said, I wish to help him. Most of those bills was tzedukas. For a bucha to go give these kind of tzedukas. He had a tremendous ability to see what other people needed, even showed me a letter from a friend of his in yeshiva that was, had a good voice, but was shy to daven for the Amr. And, and Davi Mamish would, would yeah. coach these people and build them up and lead them up by the yeah. end yeah. to see it for a young boy to be that sensitive and that. He was there. He, he, and this is another example. My son Tzvi got engaged. And Davi was near to Sudan, so he couldn't come home for the, you know, it was the height of the corona, nobody's traveling, everything shut down. So he said, Tati, I'm making a, a lachaim in Ba'i Sisul, you know, in his dir. So they, I, don't, I can't remember if it was a Kiddush or if it was in the weekday, but whoever didn't have Corona then definitely got it. That, that there was a few hundred <laughs> bochum that showed up. And he, and, and, but who did he, you know, he took, who helped him with this thing? He had a bochum that he was friendly with. This bochum came over to me by the, we, we, we actually, by the Akumas Matsayev, and I'm remembering, you know, this guy came over to me, um, I forgot his name, but it's irrelevant actually. And he just went to tell me he was friends with Davi, and you should know that uh, when I made this Kiddush, Davi was so into it, he wanted to give this bucha to do all the cooking and the preparation and the chickens and the this. It was, I don't know if it was a use, I can't remember exactly what the deal was. He needed the chizik. Yeah. The sabucha needed the chizik. And he came and he, you know, he was into it and he did it and he was happy. I mean, they had a few hundred bucham show up there. Yeah, that's that's, that, that's what Davi was. Who lost, who lost Davi. Their lives will never be the same. Felt like you understood them too, that you were able to make it about them also. They all felt that they could talk to you. You, your wife, understood them, that it's like a family of Davi's people. It's, yeah. he, he earned his way into people's hearts. He, was, he, was, he earned his way, so it's a good way of putting it. That's I do what I do. Adi Mama Vunash Lema. That's going to be Tchiyas Amesim. Oh, man. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for what you're doing. David Shalashenk and Kaichas and Vaita Kaichas. You should be able to spread Amuna. All of us together. And we should see see the great day. Oh, man. Again, I wanna. I don't know if you want me to mention this. Uh, we're in the middle of doing the Animam and book for Davis Chris. Uh, Animam we didn't book talk is about coming it. Yet in but tell us a little bit for sure. Uh, again, we're doing many projects. We're trying again. I don't know where I'm getting. I, listen, I'm sitting here. I was never here before. It's very nice. But one of the projects that we're working on now, which I mentioned, we're going to have it after Lag Boimer. Becheskel Elias started writing. A very, very eloquent and talented. And Chashuv Excellent so, writer. So we're doing, there's a lot of touch on the Animam. It's going to be giving up mention by Art Scroll. And again, this is part of... A way of internalizing uh, and, a little more. We want to turn over the world in Davi Schis to give people Koyach and to give Schisim, like I say, Metro Shem, whatever I can, I want Davi to Schis. But give me all the Mechazik on Eden and the world. Thank you for coming in. We should have some Christ and there should be some Christ for all Eden. Thank you, Shlomo.